James, you're one of the headline bouts in the, the Europa in February. Tell us about that scrap before we move on and start talking about the British title. Well, it's it's a one off from a British title in April. I'm fighting Antonio Harvaches from Croatia. Um it'll be on the undercard of James Ferrer's headline and for his eliminator. And obviously you're nailed on for your British title and without tempting fate we want James to win his fight as well. So we'll have the two Belfast lads going for a British title. Yes, definitely, you know. I win my uh I win my fight come sixth of February. My, my, I, I fight for the British title come April. James Farage could maybe have his final limiter on the same bill. Listen, uh, you, you know, you like James, you're in good shape, you're in good form, you're training hard. Training very hard, you know, I'm training alongside James Farage, that's my main sparring partner, we're training twice a day, you know, you only really get the results that you put in the gym, you can't leave any stone unturned. Is it hard to do it? Do you work as well as he does? Like he tells me he's a full time job as well, and he's in trying to train as well, dragging himself out of the bed, and he wants to go and lay down and have a sleep, but he has to keep on at it and at it and at it. No, it's at the minute I'm out of work. I'm not working. I'm full time training twice a day. So I say James Fraser's going to be getting a bit more tired than what I am. Though at the end of the day, we're, we're all doing the same work. Now you're a British title fight against whom and where would you like it to be? Um, at the minute we're facing. Well, it's the winner between Ram Walsh and Darren Trainer. These guys are fighting the 22nd of January here. We get the winner, so most likely, well, it'll be an either man's back garden unless Mark wins purse bids. Mm -hmm. And you would like it to be in Belfast? Yeah, no doubt. You know, you can't beat your home support, the atmosphere you're getting back home. You're, you've got your home comfort as well. The thing you talk about, the home support, is a thing that we... Uh is it, is it a fallacy or are we right to say, I've said it a couple of lads we're talking as well too, the Belfast fight fan, uh, the Belfast Northern Ireland Stoke fight fan, uh, they know their sport, they know boxing. Yeah, definitely, they know boxing and sit out, you know, they support their own, they're, they're, they're loyal, so they are, you can't beat that support from them. Mark has been very heavily involved with yourselves, he's done a good job. He's done a massive job, you know, the guy works tirelessly, endlessly behind the scenes, you know, he doesn't get the credit he deserves, you know, you look at the t-shirts, the sponsor that the guys have got on the... There's not much space left, Exactly, there's not much space at all, you know, he's got everybody behind us, you, you can't complain without support. Now you talk about your training twice a day, and obviously we look at the likes of uh, Frampton, Barry McGuigan, they get there, a lot of the headline acts here, and on Ireland indeed worldwide as well. But the work you're putting in, can you tell the people, or even young ones who are interested in the sport, what sort of effort you're putting in on a daily basis? It's, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of hard work, you know. You can't complain, you just have to get on with it. Well, take me to your day, what would you do? like? My day to day, I'd be up, say, 7.30, out for a good run, and then I'd be maybe... You see, you're throwing that away. I want the people to know here, you're up at 7.30, you're out for a good run. Is that a run around the kitchen, you know, or where's the run? That's at least six, seven mile run with a long hill sprints. Um, Back out again, maybe 12 o'clock, you're in sparring with James Friars, Paul Halen, you know, Joseph Patrick, all your stable mates, and doing a lot of rounds with them guys. And then if you've got weight to cut, you're going to be doing your weight cut that night or maybe even another session, you know. It's a lot of hard work. And obviously, clearly, never mind the whole psychological and physical uh, diet. You'd have to be careful about the diet. Yeah, you? definitely. You need to be on point with your diet. You know, some days you are going to feel hungry and that bit tired, though. That's, that comes with the game, doesn't it? I suppose we could say at this stage that, that Carl is maybe getting all the headlines, but watch out, because the James brothers are in town and they're going to make headlines it, come in the future. James brothers are going to be coming making some noise here where, you know, I could see Belfast with two new British champions. 